be when you hang around somebody long enough, you can see what it is they really want. Right. And you know, you get a guy like me, like, hey, I'm I'm here fighting for years and for some cash and yeah. There's no problem with that. But you know, Chris is over there truly like he loves the art of pass rush. He yeah. loves he loves getting sacked because he loves hyping up team. He loves hyping up the team. He loves hyping up the crowd. He loves being like a freaking. Well, he was getting Tom dog. Brady's face. When, oh yeah, that was your guys in my mind last year. That was your coming out party. You might argue that, but when Breland tipped that pass away from Brady, you guys went into New England, stopped Tom Brady. I yeah. was like, okay, defense is here. Yeah, this is now we roll. Yeah, I think so too. I think like that was just. I think that was something that Spags really brought as a whole that everybody just kind of. Everybody just kind of accepted it. It was like, hey, you know, I mean, he he reminded us. He reminded us every day, like, hey, last year you guys got bullied. He's like, not the Chiefs. The Chiefs didn't get bullied because you won. We won 12, 13 games. Made it to the AFC Championship. Yeah, made it to the AFC Championship. Like the Chiefs should have fucking won that game, by the way. Should have. But yet again, it wasn't the but, Chiefs uh, that got we bullied. We won't talk about who got uh, offsides. <laughs> <laughs> we won't talk about <laughs> name rise well, yeah. T Dord. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. Was, but go ahead, sucked. sorry. But yeah, yeah. Was, but he knows. Like, and everybody knows. It was just kind of like you know the Chiefs defense got bullied last year, mm-hmm. and no one has respect for you. And he's like, everybody's going to come in here, and all they're going to say is like, all right, let's just keep the defense on the field. Don't give Pat a chance to score. Blah blah blah. He's like, because they no one's going to have respect for you. And I think. It really lit a fire under everybody the whole yeah. way through. And you have guys like Chris. You got guys like Frank who are kind of like the same person. It's scary. Like, really? Yeah. It, it, it's scary having those two together because they, <laughs> they just feed on each other yeah. and it just starts getting insane. I love it. But at the same time, it's just like, yeah. sometimes you hit the point where it's like, what are y'all talking about right now? <laughs> it's kind of like you just see two dogs barking. It's just like, <laughs> like, I don't know, but they're on the same page. Yeah. And then they go on the field and they just obliterate a freaking quarterback. So it's like, all right, keep yeah, doing it. Keep, keep doing, doing it. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it, it was great. I love playing with Chris. I mean, that will probably be one of my favorite parts. We would go grab meals together. We had like a whole ritual routine, go get food together all the time. Uh, it was a great, great teammate. He's in a crazy situation right now. Yeah. I mean, I you know, like.